Hello, my name is Hannah, and today we're building an apartment in San Maishuno. Now, I said I was going to step away from apartments, however, I didn't have that much time today, and, or, well, that, the day that I built this, and then also I was kind of wanting to make, like, a, a mid-century kind of style apartment, because I thought that would be fun, and so I did anyway, which is fine. I don't need to, like, justify why I made an apartment, but I just, I just felt like talking about it, and so I really wanted to do this, and so I did, and also this apartment, I usually make most of my houses or apartments it's like families houses because I feel like that just fits better and also like I don't play with single people a lot when I do I'm just like hmm when can I get more people to play with and so I'm just like so it's just like I don't use them so I just don't make them but for this one I made just like a singular bedroom I guess you could fit like two people in there I guess but I feel like that would, I guess that makes sense but you can fit one or two at P or sims I guess not people people sims close enough but it's not exactly the same you don't really play with people I guess in a video game but I don't know most video games I guess it is people but they're different okay so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move on from that but I just wanted to make this like really bold like colors and like shapes and stuff um you can see that the like island is like an odd kind of shape it's not really odd it's like an L shape that's I guess kind of normal that's like this the shape that like my like counter I guess it's like a peninsula I guess is what we have it's like also l-shaped so I guess it's not like that unusual but like most of the ones that I make in the sims are like one not attached to the wall I guess well if they are they're like part of the cabinet and stuff like that um or they're like fully like islands and stuff and they're always like straight and so I made this one l-shaped and pretty um I liked it and so it was a pretty fun shape and so um, I really enjoyed that, but it also made the other space kind of weird because I didn't know what to do with the floor plan because I knew where like the bedroom and bathroom kind of like kind of had to go because the rest of the place is just windows everywhere. And so I usually put like the living room in this corner, but then I wanted to put it on a platform because I felt like that'd be fun and also kind of just like fit with like the style that I was going for. And so I made it like a bit higher. I think it's like big enough for two, maybe three steps. I really, I can't see right now, but it's, you gotta go up a couple steps up to this like living room, which is also where the bedroom is. The um, bathroom you get to is on, you know, the main level, I guess. But I put like a bunch of dark, well not dark medium greens I guess and so I was trying to go with like greens and like reds which I don't like reds very much but I felt like the red just fit really well so I was putting like red curtains and like red walls and stuff like that and I don't really like how the red looks I think that's just me and red but I think the apartment overall looks pretty cool but I was just trying to get some bold colors and like bold patterns everywhere because that's what I was trying to do and also I've been making too many normal looking things so I think it was time for something that looked kind of ugly but also looked cool in the same way it's cool ugly that's that makes no sense but you know I it looks cool but also like normal people would find it ugly so that's that's the type of things I'd like to make is things people might find ugly but I like them so I don't know but I was using this green color one of my favorite green colors um I, I really like green that's one of my favorite colors and but like this color green I like I'm not sure why but it just looks cool but then I was trying to fit in just other colors with it and I was just like why does this look so strange so I tried to find like rugs that I could fit like with the color and then add more colors to it and I found this one from I or this like rug I don't know where it's from get famous maybe or strangerville maybe i don't know but one of those to do and then also the uh like chair from paranormal stuff i really like how it looks but like you can't put that in a normal thing so i was like this apartment perfect for it i really like the pattern and also like the color's not horrible and like the other colors i like that chair or i like the colors on that chair so i wanted to use that and also i just felt like it fits super well so i was like i could pass up the like the opportunity to put the like oddly patterned thing in this apartment so I just kept going with that and the kitchen is a little bit more like darker and like more normal but I feel like it's an apartment usually apartments come with kitchens like in the apartments that I've ever seen um they come with like you know the bathrooms already you know comes with a shower kind of thing it comes with a kitchen usually so I was just trying to do that and so 
it's more normal so it's not like you know bright yellow cabinets and stuff like that but it's like it still matches with like the wood tones that I was using and then also I did like some very like crazy out there like uh, stools and stuff like that and put like some decorations in there to make it like matching but it still felt like you know, normal because it needed some normal touches in this apartment because it was very out there um, so I, I really like it but it, it is a little bit odd to like look at so but I, it's very fun to, to like look at <laughs> so um, but that's about it for the house so I'm going to move on to some of the things that I did I guess yesterday so the first thing is that I mentioned I think like two videos ago that I was taking off Friday or like the last Friday I guess because uh, why well, I, I didn't mention a because but I'm going to right now um, it was my birthday on the Friday so I took it off because it was my 16th birthday so I, I'm 16 now so that's like it's kind of strange but to be fair nothing changes when you get older so you know that's okay but um it was really fun um we ended up going to like some museums and stuff like that um but yeah we went to um like a history museum and then we went to like a museum that's like haunted and it's got like haunted stuff it was really fun i loved it that like on my birthday what i wanted to do was go to museums um so i went to a history museum and i think that's a little strange but i love museums so much and so it was a history of like the area that i you know live in but i'm not gonna say that but like say exactly where that is but I really like the history of that because like we learn about it like a couple times and then we just learn about like other places in history class so I like learning about like where I like live and so it was really really fun and we spent like three hours there and then we also had like a train because we have like train tracks because like most bigger towns I guess in like places start from like trains and so you know tr talking about trains in world history was kind of boring because we didn't do it she didn't do it very well she didn't do just to the trains when we were in world history but I we went through this train that was like old and was like retired in like the 40s or something and it had been like restored to how it would look at the time it was really fun I loved that and so it was just it was really fun going through that we also got ice cream because they had like an ice cream place in there and it was it was just really good um it almost killed me that ice cream not the train but <laughs> the ice cream was really really rich because I we ordered um a thing called like it was, I don't know what it was actually called but it was like a mint thing that was supposed to be in Sunday form but you could order it in in, like mold form and so that's what we ordered and oh my god it was really good but you could not eat that entire thing by yourself we were sharing it among three people and it was it was just too much it was really a lot and then we ordered like this thing called like a brown cow which i've seen like at a bunch of different places but it's just like a root beer float with chocolate um it's very good but compared to the mint thing that we had it was like this is water compared to just like you know, I don't know what to compare it to, but it was very different. So you would go from the mint thing to the root beer float and it would just be like, this tastes like water. <laughs> it's just like, the, where's the, where's the like bite your tongue off part of this? So it, it was very, it was an experience, but it, they both tasted really good, which I thought that was fun. And then we went to the haunted museum, which was also something that I wanted to do because, um, I, I just like haunted stuff. Um, it's not that, um, it's like, I don't know if I really, like, believe that they're haunted or if I don't believe that they're haunted. I'm, like, somewhere in the middle. I'm not really sure, but I think it's really fun. Just, like, look at that stuff. And so we just went through there and we, it was, like, a guided, not guided tour, like, a flashlight tour where you, it was, like, dark and you had to go through there with flashlights, which I thought was really fun. And so we just looked at a bunch of haunted stuff. And um, there was mostly just, like haunted like stuff that had been donated like that's like the kind of purpose of it I guess it's like you donate your haunted things that you don't want anymore here and so I really liked it and so I even got like a necklace there as like a I, yeah, they had a gift shop I got a necklace there so it was it was very fun and um I thought it was kind of sad also because like I it's not like that I know that they're haunted but like they like move and like some they had like stories like backstories I guess like reasons why they had been like donated to this place and it was like really sad sometimes like I know it's not a living creature most of the time you know there could be a demon in there I guess but you know it's just like this object had been like mutilated and so yeah you know, I don't know if it actually is haunted that's like kind of sad because like there's some something's in there like some spirit just got chopped up and you know used for like you know demonic rituals and like you know covered in different like substances and that's like kind of sad 
like to, to destroy this thing and then claim it's haunted and then get rid of it. It's kind of sad. I don't know exactly why I think it's that sad, but I was just like kind of felt bad. Because like some of them, like they were just had these shelves of dolls. These dolls looked like they had been trashed. Most of them had been found like inside houses, which is pretty typical, I guess. But it was really, really fun. Um, um, but I'm gonna move on from that because I can talk about haunted, like this haunted museum thing for like a very long time but I, I shouldn't. Um, I also did an escape room with my friends, which was really fun. Um, and we didn't get out, but we were very, very close to that, but it was really, really fun. But getting locked in a room with a bunch of your friends, very good experience if you're ever wondering. It's very fun. If you're ever thinking about doing an escape room, I would, cause there's so much fun and there's just a lot of, you know, fun to do with like people that, you know, one, I have, you could do them with people that you don't know that very, very well and you could like bond with them or do it with like people that you do know like very well and you know, have like a fun time with them. And it was really fun. Um, but I had a very good birthday and I'm very excited to be 16. See, you know, I guess what happens this year probably just more of the exact same thing but that's okay i'm okay with the same thing but i had a good birthday and too many desserts i i think that's like kind of hard to do but it, it was a lot of desserts like i had so many sweet things i am not eating any sweet things any anytime soon it's just not happening but you know I, sh I i'm gonna stop now it is almost screenshots time so um subscribe if you did like today's video or if you want to see more like this but i do post four videos a week so you can watch another video next time. Bye!